Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be doing the top best five tweaks of the week. We do these every Sunday in conjunction with ModMy.com. So don't forget to go over and check those guys out. The first one that I'm going to be sharing with you today is going to be called um, Camrix. Camrix. C-A-M-R-I-X. And what this does is it allows you to set an activator to to get a photo or a video started immediately. You know, a lot of times we miss out on photo opportunities or video opportunities because by the time we get our camera app to, to launch and all that kind of stuff, what we were wanting to take a picture of has already passed. This improves that time, makes it much faster. You can set your activation to be any activation or gesture you want to on your phone using activator. I've simply got the rear camera to activate using the triple press of the home button. And the cool thing about this is when you activate it, you get this little circle that pops up on your display. And let me show you what I mean by that. When I, if I can ever hit the three times, here we go. And you see the little circle there? Uh, I don't know why Siri launched. But anyway, as you can see here, you can drag it around on your screen. Or you can do just about... Okay, I found this on the web for why I don't know a Siri launch, buddy. Why is you can see here you can do I get around? It's been so silly, but you can drag this around anywhere you want to. And if you tap and hold, it will actually start taking video. Okay? So tap and hold it. See, it turns red around there. That lets you know that you are videoing now. So if you tap and hold again, it'll stop. Now, if you just touch that anywhere, you can probably hear that click. That's taking photographs of whatever's behind, in front of the rear camera anyway. So we'll take a photograph of a keyboard here. If I just tap the screen, you heard it take that photo, I'm sure. But to deactivate that, you can just swipe down and bring it down over the X and release it. And that turns it off. Or you can put in your gesture again. And it will turn it off also. That's called Camrix. $1.99 in Big Boss Repo. Now, the next one we're going to be looking at here is called discretify and this one here is free and it's by uh, Max Pagnol I think that's what that is if you have your phone laying on the table and you you don't want people to see what's coming in from certain friends or girlfriends you can actually go into your settings menu here and go to discretify and you can replace the content I actually just was being silly and put, you are so sexy. And anytime these keywords come through, uh, Udemy or Mitch or iPhone Captain, it will actually replace those with, you are so sexy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, send myself an actual text. But as you can see, they did come through. And the words that matched what I had put into the actual settings has blocked some of that. And everywhere you see you are so sexy, that's one of those words being blocked. Okay. And that's, that's how that particular tweak works there. The next one's called Fot Ego. Fot Ego. And what this one does, guys, is it prevents others from being able to access any of your photos or any of the settings or anything like that. Now, let me go back to right here. And when I try to open the camera roll, it's going to ask me for the Touch ID. And without, and without my fingerprint, you're not going to be able to get into the photos which I think this is a pretty awesome little tweak. And when you touch the photo ID, then it's going to take you right on into the photos and all that kind of stuff. And this was called Photo, e photo Ego, and it's 99 cents in Big Boss as well. And it actually 
You can use it to block images, to keep people from seeing your images, your videos, any kind of settings or anything like that. They can't change that without your Touch ID. Uh, it's just a really nice overall tweak to keep your, your photos private. And here and open the camera app and try to open something then we cannot open our photos from there. So that's what I was, was just pretty cool little tweak, guys. The next tweak we're going to look at is called Photo Organizer 8. And you can get this for $2.99 in the Big Boss repo. And what it does, guys, is it just gives you so much more control over your photo albums and camera roll and things of that nature. If we go to our photos, you'll see what it is I'm saying. Now, Photo Albums 8 doesn't add any kind of settings or uh, icons or anything like that to your to your device, so everything that you need will be able to do. You can do it inside the Photos stock app here, but it's just a very cool way to customize everything and take control of your camera roll. Um, and, that, and it does do a lot more than I just called off here. Just some of the key features I can read to you here. One of the main things that I didn't show you that it does is, is it allows you to import into your all of the photos and videos from the uh, custom file link. It's DCIM, I think is what it is, into your camera roll. And... Let me show you just exactly what it is I'm talking about. If we go in here and just open up any one of these and hit select. Uh, no, that's not it. Photos. <clears throat> we can go through here and choose just whatever we want. And it'll put a little check mark on it. And then it will actually allow us to import these chosen photographs. In or videos, either one. I'll choose a video here to, to show you that. It allows you to add that. I tap the add to to add it to an already created album. Photo Organizer 8 is a much better way to control your photos and the photos that you import into your camera roll and out of your camera roll. You can, you can select all of them at once in here if you wanted to choose all 750 pictures that I have. And then you could also tap the sort by and you can sort them by file name, file size, and creation date. I'm going to tap creation date and that's going to order them a lot better for me. That way I know the ones that I did last and the ones I did long ago, which makes it easier. And in here, um, it's just a, a, a better way to, you can actually import all of your photos too at one time by going into the albums here and going to camera roll and choosing select. And if you want it to, here again, however you want it to sort by, We'll, we'll choose creation date. And then if you wanted to create an album, say, by month, you could simply uh, add new albums here to to put photos by specific month into those. But it also stated, stated on the uh, information page here, it says that you can... Uh, I thought it said you could change the name of the camera roll, but I don't guess it did. It says you can reorder the album list, select and deselect all the photos. You can import, uh, reorder items in the camera roll. So if we go into the camera roll, which that's where we are now, and tap select, I guess that's what this sort by, let's say file size, and then you see that makes their the specified uh, changes like that. And then if we were to choose just a few photos here, it doesn't matter which ones really. And then we could tap add to and we could put them in any photo. And I'm just going to put them in the new photo album here. And you saw them jump over into that new photo album. And now when I go to that new photo album, those photos are actually in there. 
but what it was stating that is if you were to actually choose this particular video right here and trash it, remove from album, that, that it's not going to completely remove it from the entire camera roll. And the, you, when you reorder it, it's not going to mess your camera roll up. There's just a whole lot of things you can do with this tweak, and, and I, I think you'll really enjoy it, so be sure you check it out. Hope you enjoyed the tweaks this week. That's five. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and favorite button before you leave. Share the video and keep coming back.